All that energy that you're using for anger and jealousy or whatever it is, put all that energy to yourself and focus on yourself and put it towards good and good things that you want for yourself and stuff that will just make you happy. What is up guys? I am bringing this video to you today because I was supposed to go out and now I can't. So um, I have all this makeup on and I'm just not going to take it off yet. So today what I want to talk about is to focus on yourself. This is the most important thing ever because we are around ourselves 24 seven. We have to like ourselves because I mean, if not, then you're gonna have a pretty rough life if you don't like yourself. So we want to focus on all the things that we can do to make ourselves feel better and maybe try to worry a little bit less. So mm, the first tip I would probably suggest is try not to worry about what others think of you. And I feel like this is a little bit harder to do nowadays because we have such a strong opinion about ourselves rather than having someone else have an opinion about you. Everyone's always going to have an opinion about you whether they think, I don't know, think certain things. But you overall are going to be your worst critic. So you are going to be your worst enemy. So first you want to think about is stop comparing yourself. This is really hard nowadays because society, the way everything is going, social media has put such a damper onto people's lives that they just think that their lives are so miserable because they are looking at a picture perfect life when none of their lives are perfect. And I know a lot of them want to perceive that that way or they want, um, maybe they're being honest and they're saying, I'm, I don't have the best life, but here's like a really great picture or whatever. But we'll see that and still compare that to our life. Everyone has stuff going on. Everyone has issues. Everyone has, you know, either money problems or family issues. It could be a lot of things, I guess. But don't just sit there and think like they have it all and you don't. You guys are probably, you guys can be on the same exact page, but you'll never know it because you're only looking at a picture. You're only looking at a five second video. You know, you don't know what's actually going on in that person's life and most likely they're not going to share the worst of the worst in their life. So instead of dwelling on all that kind of stuff, focus on what makes you happy. What can you do to make yourself happy? Get clear on what kind of goals and dreams you may have. Something that is for yourself, something that's dedicated towards you, something that you might have always wanted to do or something that just can make you happy. Even if you have a fear of doing it, like just go for it. Just just try it out. What's what's the harm in just trying this thing out of what possibly can make you happy and possibly can be a new career or you know, just a new hobby. We want to do these things for our own personal growth. You can't just be stuck in the same life and say this is what this is. This is my life. This is all it is and and this is who I am. No, no, there's a lot more to you and there's a lot more out there. You just have to go for it and leap for it and jump and grab it. Maybe try to write some of these things down. If you're writing it down, then you're actually seeing it and visualizing it and it's kind of more coming to life in a, in a way. When you're just thinking about these things, they're just kind of coming and going in your head and you're not really paying attention to it. It's just like, you know, you're doing something and the thought pops in, but then it goes out and you continue to what you're doing. If you're actually focusing on what you may want, it'll help give you that extra little push towards what you want to do. Maybe write it down and then also put it somewhere where you can always see it. Um, I did just like a small little like affirmation. picture thing. I just wrote stuff down and I tried to make it all fancy looking so that it was appealing to the eye, but I put it in the bathroom. I'm always in the bathroom. And when I walk in, I see that and it's just easy for me to 
read it and then take it in and know that's what I want, that's what I want to do. And it just kind of reminds you of those goals that you want. And you know, like I said, if it's in your head, you're not really seeing it, you're not paying attention to it. So it might not be something that you're thinking of every single day. When you're actually thinking of it every single day, then you're starting to bring that into your life. Um, it, even if you don't know it, but you're subconsciously doing it and it's, it's manifesting small little things because you're constantly thinking of it. Even if you have like a huge dream, huge goal that you want to achieve, you know, you still have to take steps towards what you want. And it, that doesn't mean that, you know, you have this big dream or goal and yeah, the universe is just going to give it to you. No, you still have to take the small steps. Like there are always going to be small little steps to take into going into the direction that you want to be in. The universe will do its part, but you have to do your part too. You know, start contacting people, start doing research, whatever it might be. Just start doing something towards what will make you happy. What has been your dream? What has been your goal? What's been your desire? Go towards it. Another little tip would be take time for yourself. I don't think we realize how much we really don't take time for ourselves. We really don't take the time to pamper ourselves basically. Don't be afraid to be alone. Don't worry about anything or anyone in that moment. Just be present, be with yourself, observe your thoughts, and just kind of take time to heal yourself, heal your brain from everything that's going on around you. It could be a little bit chaotic, you know, whether it's something with work or just, you know, being constantly on social media. Take time to get off your phone, read a book, do something else other than paying attention to other people's lives. You gotta pay attention to yours too. You know, even if you you go to work every day and you know, you're, seems like you're doing things for yourself, but you're not, like take time to actually chill out, relax, and just soak it all in, soak in it. So like I said, this could be reading a book. This can be working out. Give yourself a facial. Go get your nails done. Something that just kind of makes you happy. Maybe even take a bath. I love taking baths once in a while. I kind of sometimes forget to take baths because they're just not ideal because they take time. But it's really nice. Like put some essential oils in your bath and just soothe in it and just relax. Put on some nice peaceful music and just just be. The next little tip would be either break a habit or gain a habit. I think it's usually about, I think it's like 21 days for you to either break or build a habit. Give yourself a task, stay busy, focus on something. You know, if you have a bad habit of doing something, take small steps every single day and just get yourself to break the habits, putting your mind somewhere else and just focusing on, you know, bettering yourself. Maybe if it's smoking and you want to quit smoking or you're on social media every second of the day and you want to just calm down a little bit. Or if there's like a challenge you want to do and, and, and gain a habit of doing something or, you know, yoga, meditation or, you know, whatever it may be. Just practice that every single day. Take 21 days to do it and see what you can accomplish. You know, like I said before, we are all energy. And whether that energy that we're focusing on is what we're creating for our reality. So if you are constantly comparing yourself and putting yourself into a bad mood, that's basically like what you'll be. You'll just be in a bad mood all the time and then you'll actually attract people that have bad moods to you and then you guys start feeding off of each other's bad moods and it just ends up bad. It's a real good one there. All that energy that you're using for anger and jealousy or whatever it is, put all that energy to yourself and focus on yourself and put it towards good and good things that you want for yourself and stuff that will just make you're thinking about comparing yourself to someone what I like to do is compare myself to my old self uh, whether that's with pictures because I'm into fitness and I've seen like a huge change or just in my appearance over the years and 
how thankful I am for growing into my face or whatever. You know, just try try that. Try try to compare yourself to your old self. Side by side pictures. You know, even I will have hard times, you know, still comparing myself because it, it's just the world that we live in now. It's society has built it up that way and and everyone is basically trying to walk around like they have a filter on themselves or that they have the most perfect body and the thing is is that we're human and and no one's ever going to be perfect but we can all try to be perfect in our own way and be okay with that and be okay with loving yourself for who you are we just have to take the time to actually focus on ourselves and know what we want and know what we want for ourselves and and just go towards it if there's people that you're following that don't make you feel good about yourself unfollow them what are they doing for you other than making you feel crappy about yourself i've honestly had to do that sometimes i've i've unfollowed people because i started just judging myself way too much and that's something i already do on my own once in a while to myself not even comparing myself to anyone you know we're human it's 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 gonna happen we just have to condition ourselves a different way and look at ourselves a different way our bodies take care of us and i don't think we really pay attention to that too much you know be grateful that our bodies have our own healing power you get cut and we heal ourselves we create a scar we create tissue so that you know we can't basically reopen that wound again and it's amazing what our bodies can do and and literally like the skin over our body is protecting our insides and and that's kind of incredible so just pay attention to yourself and focus on yourself and be present in the moment because every moment is beautiful and uh, it's just so great to have so much more self-love for yourself and for the world and see the world differently and that's what I want to talk about next is you know wakening up and talking about vibrations because this is the time in this world right now that everyone is starting to wake up and it's gonna be incredible and that's just another topic that I'll get into another time because there's a lot on that topic and I'll get to it but that's really all I have and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys stay true to yourself and have much love for yourself. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!